Okay, what's up guys? So let's say I have a triangle this time. Yes, I mean another triangle. And we want to find some properties of this triangle because, well, we can. So you begin by drawing these altitudes to a triangle. So you do know that all of these would make right angles with each other, right? Now, what these do is they make this point right here. Now, what is this point called? It's called an orthocenter, okay? So now I've kind of erased everything. Um, I can still see some marks, but now, oh wait, hold on, I still have something here. Oh, no. So now I wanna try something different. I wanna try and find the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. Well, let's uh, say that this is the midpoint and we can draw a perpendicular bisector like that. And let's say that. And hey, lo and behold, it connects it. Another new point. And this one is called a circumcenter. Let's say uh, you draw a circle and it connects with all these points through you here. And this point right here, it's this is basically the center of this outside circle right here. And that's the circumcenter. That's why it's called the circumcenter. But now say I want to have an angle bisector. Quite a lot of points of concurrency, aren't there? So this point right here, this is actually called an in-center. And uh, this is the center of this circle inside the triangle, so in-center. Fair enough. And last but not least, we're going to be learning something today, and it's uh, going to just straight up be uh, connecting the medians of triangles together. I'm, of course, estimating here. And uh, this point right here is a very, very, very special point. It's the center of gravity on a circle, and it's called a centroid. So there's four different types of concurrency. Want to know some cool properties of a centroid? Well, if the longer side, see how it divides it into two parts, so this part right here and this part right here? Well, this is always going to be double the shorter side, so this is x, this is well, I could say that this is y, and then this is z, and this is 2z. So, there you have it. Oh, hey guys, thanks for watching. If the next button doesn't work, it's probably because I haven't uploaded a video yet. Um, but the previous button works, um, and I do upload videos almost every day, so, yeah.